You have to be able to like to be alone is a very important skill in life because you're inevitably going to be facing such moments. So one of the readers or listeners out there wanted to know about how to deal with loneliness. And I think it's a very human thing. We've all dealt with it. I know I dealt with it, particularly when I was younger, a lot when I was in my 20s, etc. I remember once I was in Rome 20 years ago or so. I was entering a restaurant to eat, and I was by myself in a crowded restaurant. And the waiter asked me if I was alone, and I said yes, kind of shamefully. Yeah, yeah, I'm alone. And he said in Italian, meglio solo che mal accompagnato. And that expression has stuck with me for many, many years. It was better to be alone than to be accompanied with someone bad or to have bad company. So the idea is that you have to kind of sometimes like to be with yourself. And sometimes being with other people can be a drag, can be painful. There can be people that can inflict a lot of pain on you. And so sometimes it, the grass is always greener. And I would often think about, and not to say that it doesn't hurt to be alone because we're a social animal, but maybe it's better that I don't have to be around all of these annoying people. And I can fill my time with other things. So reading books, watching movies, etc. I'm not alone because I'm with other people. I'm with other spirits. Of course, I'm not saying this is the perfect answer, but you have to be able to like to be alone is a very important skill in life because you're inevitably going to be facing such moments. And so you have to be able to like your own thoughts, to be interested in your own ideas, to be reading books, to be doing things that excite you. And if you're excited in your spirit, then you're not really alone. When I'm reading a great book, I don't feel so alone. Yes, I would like to share it with somebody else, but these are ways to kind of alleviate that. The other thing is, is to understand that you think that you're the only person like that. Everybody goes through that feeling. We're living in a culture now where loneliness is like an epidemic, you know, and the books are being written about it. You know, people are bowling by themselves. There's a whole book written about that. You know, it's a culture where we're not as social as we used to be. We're so much more virtual. So you're not alone in that. So you're not alone in your loneliness. It's very human. Other people are experiencing that and be aware of it. How do you overcome it? You have to become more social. You have to put yourself out in this world and not be so virtual. Loneliness and being alone has a momentum to it. And I know it, I've experienced it myself. Because being a writer, you're alone. Believe me, I'm alone a lot. When you're alone a lot, you get more and more afraid. You get more and more timid. Encountering people becomes difficult, painful. Like It's like a skill that you've lost. It's a feel that you've lost and it's harder to get back. And you don't think of it that way. You think of, ah, oh, I don't want to go to that party. I, 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 I. You've got to force yourself in the opposite direct. You've got to build that opposite momentum. Because the more you're out in the world, the more that you're social, the more that you're meeting people, the more that you will have chances for finding somebody that has similar interests to you. So if online you're able to find people with similar interests to you and share that, that's great, but find a way to make it not so virtual. Meet people, go to these places where there are people who are like-minded to you. Force yourself to become more social so there'll be more opportunities to meet other people. But the most important thing of all is to be okay with being alone sometimes, with actually finding it, oddly enough, kind of pleasurable to not have all those annoying noises, those annoying people, all that narcissism out there, all that crap that we have to deal with. Yeah. I like being alone sometimes. I like just sitting in the bathtub and reading a book. I like just watching a movie, etc. by myself. If you can do that, if you can find pleasure in being alone, then loneliness loses a lot of its sting. And then the other thing is to force yourself to develop that social muscle that we all have.